How's it going? And today I just wanted to make a video about why I use Lightwave or still use Lightwave. This isn't really about what's wrong with any other software. This is just what I like and why I use Lightwave still in 2018. A lot of the reasons why I still use Lightwave is for the same reasons that I drive my car. I have a 2012 <laughs> Honda Fit. You know, I'm still driving it. I see other cars out on the road and I think, gosh, that car looks like it's pretty cool. It has a lot of modifications. But then I look at my car and I think, well, I'm comfortable with it. And so like with Lightwave, it was the first 3D software program I was ever introduced to. And so I became uh, familiar with it, its layout, literally. I became familiar with the layout and the modeler and the hub and the screamer net. From there, it was a learning curve. At the time, there were a lot of resources uh, available. There were some fantastic books about it, and I learned a lot about 3D through Lightwave. One of the reasons I like Lightwave is that I'm simply comfortable with it. I know where things are. If there's a tool I need or something I need, I know where to go to get it. I like the way things are organized. Now, recently, there have been some changes to the software in the most recent build, and so I have some new learning to figure out where things are and there's a different way that they're kind of doing things now. The second reason that I still use it for the same reason that I still drive my car is that it does what I need it to do. It, it gets the job done. Lightwave doesn't have anything to, to prove in my mind. It's shown that it's a, a capable tool and it can be done to create almost anything that you can imagine. Um, it has a proven track record of what it's capable of doing and so um, if it's not broke don't fix it another reason that i i like lightwave is that many of the artists and individuals that i know of in 3d are people that i respect and admire and they still use the program and i see that they're still creating phenomenal work with it and so it just reminds me of again you know if it's not broke no need to fix it i don't I can't see switching to another tool when I'm comfortable with the tool that I have right now. Another thing is it is a paid program. That may seem like it's not necessarily a great thing that you have to pay for it, but I understand that there's, you know, someone out there is developing the software and I don't expect them to provide that service and those updates for free. A program's free. You have no recourse. You really have no standing to complain about anything. So I don't mind paying for a tool if it, if it does the job. I have to say I've been lucky. The, the first version of, of Lightwave that I got was actually a discounted box version. I think it was $199 or something like that. And at the time, it seemed like a reasonable cost. And then since then, I've just been buying the upgrades for it. it and it, so far, it hasn't let me down. I have to say the program's very stable. I've, I've never had it crash on me. The last reason I still use it is I actually feel a loyalty to the program. It may sound kind of silly, but um, I like Lightwave. I like the name Lightwave. I like the fact that it's kind of out there on its own a little bit, and it still has support. It's not obscenely expensive, but it's not free either. In my mind, the people at Lightwave have always been trying to create like a middle path between the free and the obscene. So I've appreciated them for being there and having that product available when other products weren't ready or weren't there or were just way out of reach. So for that, I am grateful to Lightwave actually. So I do feel a sense of loyalty to, to the programs. Is it a perfect program? No. Are there things that could be improved? Yes. And I look forward to Lightwave rising up to those challenges, but I realize that the changes that's going to happen with Lightwave, they're going to be evolutionary more than revolutionary. The changes have to be made incrementally. They can't just change everything all at once. If they did, it wouldn't be Lightwave, and then you'd almost be having to learn a whole new software program again. So... I understand the balance between making improvements and doing them in stages or incrementally versus doing them radically. One of the big complaints about Lightwave is that it's not an integrated development environment, but I think there's pros and cons to that. I think that it's one thing, like if you know Visual Studio, they've got a lot of stuff jammed in there. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. I, I think that you can start jamming so much stuff into one program that it just it just starts getting 
crazy. So I don't mind that things are kind of separated out as long as those separated programs easily communicate with each other. You can look at like Premiere and After Effects. They're two separate programs, but they communicate well with each other. I don't remember hearing too many people complaining about that they're being separate programs or how they really communicate with each other. In fact, I hear people saying that they like that After Effects communicates with Photoshop and communicates with After Effects. So Lightwave does break out modeling from the layout. I don't have an issue with it at this point, but I know some people, they, they don't like that and they want it all in one package. So it is kind of what it is. I don't expect them to make grand changes, but hopefully they will continue to improve it and make it a better program. I just wanted to throw this out there that Lightwave is not dead. People still do use it and you can still do great work with it. So I just wanted to throw my two cents in since I am a current Lightwave user. So thank you very much and have a great day.